Just like it sounds, I field questions from the tribe, and the questions usually start with the words, Hey Sean. Hmm. Is there a correlation between professional success as a nurse and the school you attended? Meh. I mean, eh. Meh. I know it's, you know, it's complete confidence there, you know. You know exactly what I want to say. Well, I'm on the fence with this one. I think there's a direct and indirect correlation. Eh? Will you get into a, a will you get a job simply because of the program you were in? Yeah. Because let's be serious here. Getting into school, graduating school, the school itself. There's only one major thing you're concerned with. I don't care if, if you're a LPN, RN, or NP, CRNA. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter. What the school does for you, ultimately, the only thing that matters. The only thing that matters is, are you going to pass your freaking certification licensure exam? Are they going to prepare you to fucking pass the test? Our, our education has been has been minimized to a singular event, sadly. There's all kinds of debates about that, but ultimately you, you gotta you gotta pass the exam or else you can't practice as a professional. I mean, duh. I don't really care how high ranking your school is. I don't care if they're a top Ivy League school. I don't really care. If they can't help you pass this freaking exam, they're useless. So let's go under the assumption you've done your homework and that the school that you are attending has a high pass success rate. And high pass rate means like greater than 90%. Ideally greater than 95%. And all that means is you take the tests, you pass their exams, you graduate from their program, there is a 95% certainty that you will pass your exam if you study appropriately. I mean, let's not forget the personal responsibility you have to study your ass off when you do graduate from school to pass that exam. The final one. The boards. The cert exam. Yeah. So I, I guess... The ranking of the school indirectly matters from that perspective. What is their what is their pass success rate? My guess is that the higher ranking schools have a higher pass success rate. The lower ranking schools probably have a lower pass success rate. But I'm completely assuming things here. You never know. Okay, you've done your research. You know what their pass success rate is. You've entered their program. You graduated their program and you're taking your exam. That's the direct correlation. The indirect correlation to the actual school that you decide to attend has to do with, with recruitment and interviewing. More specifically, what is the networking capability and capacity of the school that you have graduated from? Do they have connections? Smaller ranking school, smaller size school, probably doesn't have the powerhouse of the networking powerhouse that someone who graduates from an Ivy League school would have. You know, do you have friends in high places? That kind of thing. Let me be brutally honest with you. Many of the jobs that I've acquired over the years have everything to do with the people you know and the people that they know. And yes, at the end of the day, if there's two resumes on the table, and I, let's, let's just take an example, okay? I'm going to use uh, Michigan State as an example because I am in no way affiliated with Michigan State in any way, shape, or form. Two resumes on the table. I am trying to hire someone 
and I am a Michigan State alumnus. And there's two resumes on the table, both equally qualified candidates. If perchance that one of those two resumes is a candidate who graduated and has a degree from Michigan State, fellow alumni is interested in a job. When it comes to decision time, I, as a Michigan State alumni, am probably going to lean towards my fellow alumni member from Michigan State. Dare I say pre preferential treatment? Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll say that. Preferential treatment. Are we talking biased opinions? Eh, now we're flirting with, you know, your opinion. Eh, no, nah, I wouldn't say biased. I mean, let's be honest here. The Michigan State alumnus is going to pick someone from Michigan State because that person knows that the program that they attended is rock solid. So indirectly, the school that you attend and graduate from does have some effect and influence on your career. But I don't care. At the end of the day, if the school doesn't get you to pass the exam, their point it's they are absolutely useless to you. To review, two things that matter with the school. Do they have a high pass success rate? And what is the networking capabilities? First one matters. That, that's the deal breaker. The second one you can work with, you can work around. Don't use that as your defining decision-making piece. Curious what the tribe has to say about this one. Does the school you attend influence your career success? There's something else that I've forgotten. What else matters when you decide on what school you want to attend for nursing school? Choir minds want to know. Leave me your message.